CIJ has its advantages when it comes to a variety of substrates. Um, not only that we have general purpose inks that work across the line of different substrate, so you can actually use one CIJ in a variety of applications in your factory. On the other hand, we have specialty inks that are customized to a substrate, for example, on a plastic pouch, but also on oily and creases substances, so we can have the code remain on the substrate for a long while. We use mainly CO2 lasers in beverage, because most of the substrates are suitable for CO2, but there's also a growing need for fiber lasers, for example, in canning. Since it doesn't use any inks or solvents, there's no need for replacement. Therefore, it's ideal for continuous operation in 24-7 production. The clean laser coat reflects the quality of the packaging design, for example, on PET bottles. We see increasing requirements for traceability in the beverage industry. And this is driven by the number of recalls uh, happening every year. According to the FDA in the US alone in 2015, there were 626 food recalls. So your ability to put information on your product, which allows you to recall specific or smaller batches is very, very important. VideoJet answers to this challenge with a high integration into the customer filling equipment. That could be example, the filler identification as put as a number into your code. Also, the lower risk on batch recall is lower risk on batch recalls if you have more details on the manufacturing process in your single code. Finally, we, we work with Axon Colors inks as an example for blue and red for identification of specific codes which are important. Preventing counterfeiting and diversion is something our customers bring up with us every time we talk to them. Protecting their brand reputation and consumer health, protecting profits by avoiding diversion, these are challenges beverage customers face today, no doubt. When it comes to returnables, inkjets have an advantage because the ink can be washed off versus a laser coat that is permanent. Looking at the total cost of ownership, CIJ has a lower investment cost, but over time there is a higher ongoing cost. I think there are two big buckets to consider. One is the internal workflow of the customer, and that covers uh, everything around the substrate he coats on. How does he coat on the substrate? What is his uh, temperature when he fills? Is it a hot filling, is it a cold filling line? Is it a returnable application, like a returnable glass bottle, which clearly uh, qualifies an inkjet as the only technology due to its caustic washdown of the ink? Is it a high condensation environment where specific inks have to penetrate water residuals on the bottle? So this is one bucket. The second bucket is obviously the trusted supplier relationship. If you work with a company and you decide for many, many years to work with the equipment of a company, you want to make sure you pick the right partner. Now, VideoChat, since its uh, early 70s, the first CIJ printer being built has been placed in the beverage environment. That's why we know this industry for decades. 